Yeah, man. Y'all know who it is. It's your boy Flame. We back with another GTA 5 video. And it's going to be the car to car merge workaround that is still working as of today. I'm going to do a re upload of this video using the newest car that just came out today to show you guys that this glitch is still working. Alright, so you want to make sure you do spun inside your bunker before you attempt this glitch. Then from there, work your way over to the arena, go inside your workshop, and you want to get your Faggio and push it over as I did in the video, guys. Alright, so from here, you just want to get a big vehicle, a big truck, whatever you want to use. You want to push that inside your workshop so you can push your Faggio all the way into your workshop. Now, I use this big truck so I can make sure that the Faggio is all the way inside the workshop. So once you do complete that step, go ahead and push your Faggio over. So that way when you drive out, the truck doesn't, you know, push the Faggio out when it drives out. Alright guys, so from here, you want to get inside the car that you want to merge the, uh, the mods from. I'm going to use this car. So this car is going to be the car that the mods is going to transfer over onto the new car. So with, with that car, you just drive it into your workshop. And then once you do drive inside your workshop, just go ahead and get out of the vehicle and then go ahead and get to the uh, Faggio. As you see in this video, I kind of fucked up. I went to the Sultan. But as soon as you get out the car with the mods, you want to get out and hop on your Faggio and then return your Faggio to the storage unit. Once you do return the Faggio to the storage, you want to get inside the car that you want to copy the mods onto like i told you guys i'm using the sultan that just came out today so i can show you guys that this glitch is working please make sure you please make sure you guys try to try to glitch out before you say it's patched everybody always talking about stuff is patched when it's not it's, it's all about timing guys it's all about timing all right so here's the timing part once you do get inside the workshop with both cars you want to wait until you are able to get out the car. Once you are able to get out the car, you wanna get inside the car with the mods. So you know what I'm saying? It could just register all the mods that's on that car. So you wanna get inside that car, and then what I do, I just leave the car out, leave out the car, or I just go to the, you know, repair or whatever, repair it, whatever you wanna do. Get out the car, then get into the car you wanna put the mods on. From here, guys, this is real about timing. You want to hold start as soon as you release start or pause whatever you want to call it you want to hit left on the d-pad when that happens your person is going to start running you want to go to first person you want to click your left and right joysticks down to do the make it rain action or whatever action you have and then from there you know what i'm saying you're going to be able to move and go in your garage and then you're going to have the car just like this here guys but make sure you drive the car inside of the workshop and you want to change like your brakes or your bumper just change something on the car so the mods can stick on that car once you do drive out your garage and shit like that but like i said man this glitch is still working i posted this shit like three days ago y'all keep somebody's patch it's not patched it's still working this your boy flame and i'm out